Hi guys, it's your girl B Dunn, also known as the Healthy Ho, here to bring you another Ask a Ho Q&A. Wow! Now, this question is from another homegirl, and I remember when she posted this on Facebook, and I really had to hurt some weak bitch feelings that day. Here was her question. Dear B Dunn, and Facebook. I went to this guy's house to hang out with him one night and I noticed that the furniture was extremely raggedy. Like it looked like he lived in a trap house. The furniture was busted. I don't even think he had curtains. It was horrible. And I could not understand how any grown man could live in a house that looked like that. And I feel really guilty because I didn't want to hang out with him or spend time with him anymore. Am I wrong? Sister, you are absolutely right. A man with a home that fucked up is going to do nothing but fuck you up. If he can't take care of himself, what's he going to do for you? And you said he was in his 40s? Girl. Mm -mm -mm. We're not talking about like a man's car where he could just drive some whatever around because it's gas efficient. And then he goes and you know lives in a really nice home. That's not the case here. A person's home is most likely going to reflect his finances, especially a grown man in his 40s. 40s. Remember, our target audience for finding a daddy or older man of means is 50 and up, which means he's like 10 years away and he's living in a trap house. No, ma'am. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, you don't live in a trap house. Why would you go back over there? Man, why the fuck were you there in the first place? Did he take you to dinner? Or do something nice for you? No. Shame on you. But that's okay. It's all good. Nothing happened. It's okay. But I'm really happy that you did get to see this firsthand. So that way you can just hurry up and get rid of his ass. Because I remember you said that, you know, with his job and everything, you thought that he actually had, you know, some type of decent living arrangements. No, ma'am. And don't ever feel guilty for putting yourself first and recognizing a bum when you see one. Now, I remember in the comments, a lot of these misindependent, super misguided ass bitches were saying shit like, well, you can build him up and help him decorate and fuck that. You are not an interior designer. That is not what you do for a living. And even if you did, he needs to fucking pay you. No, he is not a project. You do not want to fix a dick. Remember, he's supposed to be trying to earn you and to spend time with you. And you're putting all this work into him for what? You had to be a goddamn fool to be showing up at his house with curtains and pillows and rooms to go delivery, man. Girl, no. Mm -mm -mm. That's what's wrong with some of you chicks. You want to rush in and try to save these guys. And they're doing absolutely nothing for you. You're so misindependent. I don't need a man for nothing. You're going to attract bums with that attitude. And this is the type of dude, if he's living like that, he would welcome that. Oh, yeah, man, shot hell me down. He's not going to cuff you or love you. And if he did, it's only to use you because you're stupid. Remember, soft, weak, gullible bitches always finish last. So thanks for coming to my whole chat. I hope you learned something today. If you don't believe me, and you're stupid enough to try this anyway, yeah, see what happens. And you'll know I was right. Remember guys, send me some more questions and share this with some simple bitches that you know need my help.